if you're not careful and you no clip out of reality in the wrong areas, you will end up in the back rooms, where it's nothing but the stink of old, moist carpet, the madness of mono yellow, the endless background noise of fluorescent lights at maximum humbuzz, and approximately 600 million square miles of randomly segmented empty rooms to be trapped in. God save you if you hear something wandering around nearby, because it sure as hell has heard you. Level 13. The Infinite Apartments. Survival Difficulty. Class 2. Unsafe. Secure. Low Entity Count. Description. Level 13 is seemingly an apartment building with an extremely high number of floors. Footnote 1. Current estimate is around 1,000 floors. Within each floor, there are many small residences, each with a number on the door. These numbers are in a system where it lists the floor, the section of the floor, and the apartment number. Footnote 2. An example would be Floor 71, Section 3, Apartment 4, 71304. The current design of the building is similar to that of typical 1980s architecture. The walls in the hallway are a white, and the carpet is of a brown, geometrical design. This design is consistent throughout all floors. The main source of transport between floors on the level are the stairways that are located on each floor. These are the main means of intra-level transport due to the fact that all elevators will take you to other levels, not transporting you through level 13. Another prominent entity on this level are windows. These will usually show a bright blue void on the exterior of them, and they are less hostile on this level. However, these windows are still very dangerous, so be sure to avoid them. Wi-Fi is present on this floor and available for use. Computers can be found within some apartments, along with many other materials, so this level is very useful for supplies. You are also able to claim housing within level 13, but you should be sure to claim housing away from any clump infestations. If you want to claim housing, make sure to go down to the lobby first. The lobby is on floor zero, and within it, there will be a single faceling attending the front desk. This faceling is unresponsive, unless you ask for an apartment. If you do, you will receive an apartment key from this entity. This key can be used to open up its respective apartment, and can allow you to have an apartment on level 13. Entities Entities present on this floor are rare, however, these can be rather dangerous. These include clumps, windows, elevators, smilers, and death moths. Clumps are most commonly found within cabinets, in apartments, and other enclosed places. It is recommended to keep apartments illuminated due to smilers and death moths. Stay away from all windows, as they are most likely an entity. Bases, Outposts, and Communities BNTG Claimed Floor 283 Claimed by the BNTG. Access granted to only BNTG members and merchants. All entities suppressed on this floor. Minor trading post. Entrances and exits. Entrances. Entering an apartment building on level 11. No clipping through the floor on level 12. No clipping into a yellow wall on level minus 2. Exits. No clipping through a red wall will lead you to level minus one. No clipping through the floor will cause you to fall down every floor. Once you reach the ground floor and clip through it, you will be on level 14. Touching a rusty pipe will lead you to level three. Exiting through the front door in the lobby will lead you into level minus five. <laughs>